Nikola Kulichenko, a resident of Chernihiv region, literally rose from the grave. During the occupation of the region, the Russians suspected the man and his two brothers of being partisans. They were tortured and shot, but Nikolai miraculously managed to survive. The story of the resurrection of the 33-year-old man began in the village of Dovzik, 40 kilometers from the shallow grave where the occupants shot him and his brothers. The settlement was occupied right after the war started because it was very close to the border with the Republic of Belarus. The equipment moved continuously, and one of the columns was blown up by the Ukrainian defenders. After that, the Rashists began looking for partisans among the local population. They went into every house, undressed them, put their heads on the floor. And children too, they threatened them. What happened here, it's scary, Nikolai reported. One of the Kulichenko brothers served in the ATO. The Rashists found out about Yevgeny's military service and took all three men to the headquarters for questioning. The occupants set it up in the village of Vishnev at a sawmill. This is where they took the captured Ukrainians, both military and civilian. According to Nikolai, the Rashists put a knife to his throat, hit him in the stomach with the buttstock, and put the muzzle of an automatic rifle in his mouth. During the interrogations, the Chechen occupant, nicknamed Chikatilo, was especially brutal. He was the chief executioner among the Russians. If you don't talk, you'll be the 82nd man on my account, Kadyrov's militant told Nikolai. The Kulichenko brothers were tortured for three days and then taken to a plantation near the road and shot. Before the Russians opened fire, Nikolai turned his head. That's why the bullet went through the man's cheek, but he feigned death. The surviving brother was thrown into the pit first, and the two bodies of his relatives were piled on top of him and began burying him. Nikolai regrouped and breathed under himself. He spent several minutes in the grave, which he remembered forever. To get out, the man pushed himself up with his hands and knees. As a result, he was able to throw his brother Dmitri's body on its side and climb out. Next, Nikolai untied the ropes and went home wounded. He walked for a day through fields, bypassing enemy checkpoints, but still made it to his home village. Do not miss the next news, subscribe to the channel. If you can, support the Ukrainian army. The link to the multi-currency account of the National Bank of Ukraine in the description below the video. Thank you very much for watching.